playing Poetry Con and I'm going to be making a female character today and then I'll get into the game. So I'm going to show you guys all the customizations you can do with the characters and everything else. So I'm going to try to make a Native American looking character. Yes, I am a Native American man. So I'm going to go here with Eagle. Wait, uh, maybe not Eagle. I'm going to keep Yeah, I'm going to go with Eagle. I'm going to go with Black. Blue Eyes. Yes, I got Blue Eyes. Damn it. I don't want to go to that. Here, I'm going to go with ooh, Ponytail. And then hair color, I'm going to go black. Facial details. And you can do whatever you want. You don't have to add these or anything. But it makes your character look good. So I'm going to go with the eye scar. And then my appearance, I'm going to go details, face button paint, I'm going to go screaming eagle because it looks pretty good with the character. Then my right tattoo, I'm going to go with liberator. But you guys might not have the, the, the least tattoos that I get. You might have the one I'm about to put on the, this arm, but you're not going to have the one I have. And I'm gonna go clothing top. I'm gonna, you're not gonna be able to see my tattoos at all, but hell, I like to put tattoos in my character. Either way, I'm gonna go with fleece and I'm gonna go with black camouflage. No, wait, never mind. It's either black camouflage or this camouflage is the best camouflage for this game because then you blend in with the terrain mostly with this one but I like to go with black because you blend in with the dark so I'm gonna hit black camouflage with the fleece and then the vest you can go with either one of these vests that look makes it look better but I like to go with the mobile and then I'm gonna go with the same color black camouflage the pants that I like are near the top, I believe. That fit best fit this character. So go black camouflage with those too if you want to. And the hot shoes, I would go with the work boots. If no, I'll go with the combat boots because those look better on the characters. If you want to put throw a ghillie suit, you got every you got ghillie suits too. So, but for my character, I don't put ghillie suits unless I need them on my sniping character. And then you can have accessories and stuff. For now, I just put these on because they look really good on my character. And then my, for my face wear, you might not have this unlocked. But I'm going to go with the Dutch cigar. And then for my hat, hat I'm going to either go with... the um, controller cap or the, the beanie hat which I kind of like the beanie hat now with my character because it makes my character look like a lieutenant and I like to be a higher ranking officer in my game and 
the handware. Again, you can put any gloves on your character. I like to put the sniper sniper gloves on because it looks pretty good with my character. Hold on guys, I'm check I'm gonna pull up my thing. I forgot to totally do that before recording. I'm back in here. Okay, backpack. The best backpack that I would like to put on my character is... Not that one. Would be this one because then it looks better with the character. But you could pick any one of the backpacks you want. But I like this backpack for a reason. And my patches, I go with the American flag. And then, let's get into it. There's my character. To be honest, you can make it your character either way, but this is the way I made my character. So, hope you enjoy the video. And then I'm gonna go on. I'm not here yet, so I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna go on reggae there. It depends on what you what you want, but. I'm going regular. If you haven't if you haven't subscribed and turned on my post notifications please do this at this moment and leave a comment if you want to and I'll shout you out in most of my videos I'll try to do my best to shout out everybody in my videos so please don't spam the uh, videos and stuff with with um please shout me out please shout me out i'm just starting out new so yeah hope you like the video all But it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while. I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? Flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. 
That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Must have been someone else. We were never there. Not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. You should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for elsewhere. He's got a religious street that reads pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. Join task force CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Atari, soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pak Atari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Here we go. Welcome to Ghost Recon. Let me know how I'm doing in videos because this is my very first time doing it. So let's get into it. End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and, and I want to shout out Oh my gosh TV for um track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amari. We're basically expiring me to start up YouTube. 
a gaming you YouTube channel, so. And uh, I want to shout out all the people that he works with. So, because they inspired me to start my YouTube channel. So this face rug, and everybody else that YouTube's does YouTube channels. So, thank you guys. Thank you very much. And then my cousin. Trying to figure out his Norwegian Viking. If you go check out his channel, much appreciated. And that's the one also that got me into this. So did my little brother Dylan. Unknown Gaming is his uh, YouTube channel. If you go check him out. So I say Nigwitch and let's get moving on. Nigwitch means thank you. Eyes up, we got hostiles in the area. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Roger that. Move it. Ready to engage. Tango down. Supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Got some hostile activity. Hold on, I gotta change out my layout, layout for a minute. There we go, much better. Sicario over here, inside the watchtower. And I warn you, do not shoot this guy in the, that has their suit on. Don't fucking move. Careful, Sicario sporting a submachine gun. I don't see him. Next to the sandbag in place. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Son of a bitch. I jumped off. <laughs> Wasn't trying to do that.
fucking hell! Collect these green things too. They help you get support and tools and shit and upgrades. So, yeah, if you get a chance, collect them all. Collect all the blue shit that you'll see. And collect all the um, information you can. For some reason, my character didn't want to jump. I'm riding the motorcycle. The village is known to need a haven for rebels. Why do these rebels even bother? We'll catch up with you. Kill them all. Fuck. Bad idea. Bad idea. There's a green thing down here, so... Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Back to my bike. Shit. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> All good. <laughs> All good. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Close to civilians. Hey, I'm going to get you 
And there's these weapon cases all over the place, so... I already got it, so what the hell? And I don't have it. Hmm. Glitch in the game. Your game glitched. That's how you fly the plane if you didn't know how to. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. over here. Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they are questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not. Were not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval once when you questioned them. I want them. <laughs> I'm live streaming right now. I don't know where they are. We need more intel. Oh shit. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hide computers, very good hostile lieutenants, talk to cities, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock.
Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Polito is coming through. That's the rundown on Yuri. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sandoval, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a buchon named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was great. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaco province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop, for 47 hours straight, they broke Ricky Sandoval, then Sueño executed him. Polito, they're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Right now, I'm gonna go and get a snipe, heavy duty sniper and I'll be showing you guys them locations on the map right now. I'm not going to complete this mission until I get that sniper because that's the sniper I need. So, the location of the first piece of the sniper is right here, which is in Montioc. So, if you head there to Montioc on that exact spot, which is that barrel, that crate right there, you'll find the HTI sniper rifle. So, I'm going right there to get my HTI sniper, and then I'll head back to the mission. Starts now. We want Twenyo. We gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First target to Yuri and Polito. Find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. This way, okay.
and I'll be going to, after the, I get the HTI, I'll be going to get my scope, then I'll be going right back to the mission. So, until then, hang in there. And share the video oh, with your friends. Russia, Africa, Israel, even had a couple come from the U.S. What's got to happen in your life to decide working for a drug cartel is a viable career? Nothing good. <sighs> well, that sucked. I got shot down. <laughs> the cartel's main training camp. I stand it. Let's tear the place up. I don't think we got enough hardware to take out the whole camp. We don't have to. We just have to kill the instructors. Without them, Santa Blanca doesn't have a training program. Copy that. Let's do it. Cartel gunman. Okay. Near that stack of tires. My sniper is heavy, heavily guarded, so be better be prepared to take down enemies. Got another tango. Fuck. They're on to us. Stick quiet.
still got nice with my boots. I'm opening fire on these fuckers. Helicopter, get down. Are you guys holding up? <clears throat> All right, shit, we need a helicopter. I'm gonna fast travel to this place and then see if they got a helicopter. If they don't, I gotta find one. This is what the HT and this is what the HTI looks like. If anybody wants to know what it looks like, this is what the HTI looks like. But I'm gonna be getting a better scope for it, so soon enough I'll be having a better scope for this sweet, sweet sniper rifle. And the next position on the map for the next piece of snipe, the sniper, is over here. Buckle up, people. But I gotta find a sniper rifle to get, uh, not a sniper, a chopper to get there. So. What I'm gonna do is find a helicopter. I think I know. And 
this is the first video on this character but I have other videos on this but I deleted that character so I can start over and show you guys the gameplay Coffee yet, so I'm just gonna must might have to drive there soon. So, sorry for the long head, long drive. Bowman, we just crossed into Barbechos. Good news. Find you sent an account named Polpo to Barbechos to check out Nidia Flores. Books. Word is Polpo is a hawk. He doesn't let anyone cut any corners. So whether she's skimming from Sueño or not, Nidia is not happy to have Pulpo looking into her. The cartel smuggles its profits into Barbechos from Brazil, and the most of that gets laundered through Banco de Barbechos. With Pulpo already about to gum up the works, there has to be some way we can use that to sabotage the entire process. Maybe Sueño already believes Nidia Flores has fingers. To know for sure, we need to get hands on Pulpo. Our intel places his junior partner and right-hand man, a guy named Wagner, at a silver mine in Barbados. Grab Wagner and make him cough up Polpo's location. Our friendly neighborhood CIA officer just sent us a video. Who's got the popcorn? And I'll watch that video once I'm on this mission, so I'm not gonna watch that mission for the video yet. got on San Mateo. San Mateo. Over the past few years, a lot of people have been disappearing from that province. Politicians, rebel sympathizers. Anyone who's making life hard for the cartel. Anybody who ain't the cartel, period. We're talking hundreds of individuals, gone without a trace. Santa Blanca is definitely behind the disappearances, but no bodies have ever been found. Find out what happened to these people. Their families need a place to start looking. Then make sure this shit stops happening. Understood. SAO is part of Santa Blanca's coke smuggling operation. Bowman's got files for us on all the major players. Woman in charge is Nydia Flores, an ex-beauty queen turned drug trafficker. Her right-hand man is a dude named El Boquita. Ugly motherfucker. Seems to handle on-the-ground logistics. She's the brains, he's the brawn. radio broadcast unit. Let's activate it and get their message out. And then dig in for a fight. Those things are like party invitations for SB goons.
Bowman, this is Nomad. We're in Kiwani province. What have you got for us? Kiwani's a major hub for the cartel smuggling operations. We're talking about a sophisticated network of planes, trains, and cargo trucks carrying upwards of 30 tons of powder across the border. The network is the brainchild of an American national by the name of Boston Reed. Reed's a bush pilot who's been flying for Nidia Flores in El Boquita for years, and eventually worked his way into management. How do we get Reed? That's the tricky part. Reed's cagey as fuck. He stays in hiding most of the time, referring to work for little men. Psych profile says he's clinically paranoid, but I think there's more to it than that. Like what? Money transfers that don't add up, message traffic to unknowns across the border, flights that don't correspond to cartel shipping routines. Reed's losing more than powder, and he doesn't want Sueño to know about it. We've been getting reports of cartel activity around the train cemetery for some time now. See what you can find out. Nomad, I just uploaded Boston Reed's CIA profile video. Should help you track him down here in Kalani. And here's the scope. Awesome. I can put this to you. Let's tap T five X I. It's the T X five T T five X I tactical scope for the H T I. But it can go on either or any sniper rifle you put one into that it can go on to so yeah but I like it on the sniper rifle because it makes it complete and it's a deadly sniper with that scope so that's the best scope in the, sc in the game it makes any good sni sniper into a really good sniper so hope you enjoy it so back to the mission <laughs> Akatari's rebel movement is on the verge of defeat. If we help him turn things around, we'll be able to counter his support in the future. Well, I'm screwed. What the fuck was that? That was weird, but okay, okay. Well, guys, I'm gonna be done with this video. I'll catch you up on the second, the um, part two of this video. So, have fun. Enjoy the video.
damn it.